This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at how we can transform and augment images using the PyTorch framework. Transformation and augmentations are generally done on images when training using deep neural networks to actually increase your training data because you can generate new images from your existing data. And the second thing is that with these transformations, you are trying to make your deep learning model as robust as possible and it can generalize well without overfitting on the training data. Okay. So for uh, transformations and augmentations, uh, PyTorch has this torchvision.transforms module. A various kind of transformations can be chained together using the compose method. And most transformations accept both PIL images. PIL is an image processing library in Python and tensor images. Some transformations are PIL only. So these transformation accept tensor images and also accept batches of tensor images. Tensor image is like this shape CHW where C is the number of channels, H is the height and width. Batch, you have a, a additional uh, this thing where B is the number of images in the batch. Okay. So what kind of transformations are possible? So you have various transformations like uh, a random crop, a random horizontal flip which flips the images randomly with a given probability. You have random vertical flip, you have a random rotation to rotate the image. There are various kind of transformations available and how does it work randomized transformations will apply the same transformation to all the images of a given batch but they will produce different transformation across calls okay so for one batch versus another batch it will apply this uh, transformations but the calls will be different okay so that is why it is randomized transformations now let us look at a quick demo of this okay so for this i use the paddy disease data set where you have images of paddy leaves and there are 10 classes of uh, this thing nine diseases and one normal class over here i'll not go into the details of this this is a kaggle uh, data set there is a competition called paddy doctor in kaggle uh, you can look at this data set over there so what i do is that i actually create a data set right i have explained in the previous video how to create a data set in the data set in the constructor i pass the transform methods and this will apply the transform on the images okay so the transform method looks like this so i call this as transform train uh, basically transforms pipeline on the training data set and here i do compose and this is my pipeline so i call random vertical flip random horizontal flip random rotation um, then random choice which will pick up one of these transforms which is like center crop rotation right color jitter color jitter modifies the color uh, brightness contrast saturation and hue of the image right then there is a resize to resize the image to a 224 cross 224 as my neural network accepts this particular size and then there is a normalize which needs to be done for this particular neural network okay so this is the pipeline which will be done on the training data similarly i have a transforms on the validation data i don't do any transform i just do a resize and normalize okay so this is your transforms pipeline and there are two methods one for train and one for valid now I create my train data set, I pass the transform is equal to, if you look over here, I pass the transforms train and for valid, I pass the transform valid methods. Okay. Now let's visualize uh, a batch of the train loader. I create a train loader over here. Now let us visualize a batch and see what kind of transformations have happened. So if you look at this particular batch of images, you can see some of them have been rotated. Uh, some of them have has been flipped also uh, and for some of the images the hue contrast and other things are changed right and this is also kind of a vertical flip if you look at this particular image okay uh, some of the images may be rotated at a different angle so all kinds of transformations have been applied on this particular set of training images over here okay so this is how you can apply transforms and you can augment images you can also transform these images so that your deep learning model uh, will not overfit on your data. Okay. So this is how you can do transforms with PyTorch. I'll be putting the link of this particular, uh, you know, page, uh, the transforms page in the description of the video. I hope this short video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy learning.